as you well know, teen crime and the dropout rate and teen pregnancy are a few of the problems that our city is suffering from. And as you well know also, there is a little uh, in place that actually is being done directly for our kids. Uh, as it presently stands, there, is the, the, there isn't a youth center in our city and we would like to believe the TCBC, which is now Tree City Boxing Club, uh, would and could be a catalyst for such said facility, but as it presently stands, we are in need of financial aid. As of last Wednesday night, a new board was voted in and a new brand and a new name was given to the boxing club. <clears throat> Without pointing any fingers, the parents felt that they needed a more active and capable board to uh, represent the interest of the boxing club. And the following are the new board members. Juan Villanueva is our president. He is present. Uh, yours humbly. I'm the Vice President. Uh, Michelle Alonso is our Treasurer. S Cecilia Silva is our Secretary. And Mr. Luna, Neto Luna is our board, as a board member along with us. Without any funding, the club has managed to have up to 40 to 50 kids and parents training at one time. We are extremely appreciative of the city for allowing us free use of the building up to this point, but we are asking that you increase your efforts. Uh, there are repairs and renovations we are desiring to do on, on this location. We're not only looking to the city to help us in this venture, we're also petitioning the private as well as business sectors for financial backing as well. Uh, we all are responsible for the youth of our city. M emergency fund. Uh, we presently have, from what has been uh, made known to us, a $600 utility bill that I believe has elapsed uh, for quite some time. Uh, Almost a year, I would speculate, well, I mean, over a year. Since, 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 so, we were unaware of it. Obviously, a new regime, a new leadership. Uh, we didn't know that that particular bill existed under this board. All of the equipment is antiquated. I have pictures in my iPad that I took last night. Um, you can take the freedom to go through the building or go look at the building if you want to, or I can show them to you or email them to you if you'd like to see them. Um, including the ring and needing to be replaced in, for proper training and, and competition. Uh, there are repairs and renovations that need to be done to the ceiling walls and the floors, and there is also a sauna that needs to be fixed and serviced. <clears throat> There's a need for a new sign, tree pruning and landscaping around and directly over the building. It's also then uniforms and gear. The total cost of $20,000 uh, is what it's looking like to be able to bring the club up to speed and to a place where uh, it's acceptable, not only safe, but also efficient. Um, the city funded program would immediately affect the influence of the crime and drugs have over our cities, specifically among the children. It's a known fact that after school programs positively affect the quality of child development. This program is a perfect opportunity to be proactive in our community and raise the self-respect, physical health, and discipline of the children of Ovalde. We know that every one of you believes in the youth of Ovalde because had, it, had you not, you would not have been already so benevolent with the use of the facilities. The following is a projection of our yearly budget and would like the city to seriously consider including us in the budget for 2013. The competition trips are averaging $800 to send anywhere from five to seven competitors to, to, the, to the trips abroad, um, utilities, uh, we speculated at $1,200 a year. Uh, boxing certification fees and insurance is $200. Supplies is roughly $600. Um, the total annual budget of $12,000. We, uh, again, I want to reiterate that we're not coming to the city asking for all of this funding. Uh, we are going to be very, very proactive in doing at least two yearly large annual fundraisers that we believe are going to attract um, the citizens of Uvalde as well as surrounding communities. Uh, with the after school tutoring module uh, we have, uh, we're desiring to implement as well in our program. We will be providing an after school tutoring program once a week for those children who are needing a little extra time and attention in their studies uh, provided by professional teachers who will volunteer their time. What will we do? Because uh, I know that obviously that's a question that it's a, credit, it's a good question and it's a credible question. Uh, if we would, it would be ridiculous and unrealistic to expect something for nothing. That is certainly not the message that we are wanting to send to our children. It is important that, we also, that they also have an invested interest in TCBC. 
The following are a few areas we intend on giving back to the community and we are more than welcome to the council's suggestion as to what we might possibly do in addition. Adopting a street and establishing a cleaning detail. Pick up the park day once a month and clean a park of the city's choice. Be present to help and assist in all city's functions, Thanksgiving, dinners, uh, etc., any banquets. Uh, basically, we're here to serve our city. Uh, I had this placed on the agenda because of the actually the late utility bill. What I would hope we could do is a, do a little small budget amendment at the next meeting to cover this past due bill just to get them caught up and that the, that the council will consider the budget process an ongoing support to this, not just this club. And, and John, actually, I'm going to ask you to come up and speak on behalf of the wrestling club in just a second, too. But I know that the wrestling club also utilizes this building. And I like to see other groups possibly utilize this building. This, this building is for all of you, you know, as many as we can get in there and you value, not just the boxing club or the wrestling club, uh, something like that. So I think it's very important. I know that, that money's, tight. money's tight for the city, too. But if we're spending millions of dollars a year on streets, which are well needed, I think we can certainly afford a thousand dollars a month for the youth of Valley. Like I said, I'll be gone in three months, and that won't be my decision. But I hope that's something that the, the council will consider in the ongoing budget process. 